Anaida Gorbea with theyoungfolks.com. Hi. Are you sure I belong on youngfolks.com? You say no. do. Do they have masviejo.com? Masviejo, I'll start that just for you. Canosobrat.com? Yes, that one too. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm very excited. You know, I've done a lot of press junkets for movies and stuff, but uh, this one, uh, when I see the names over there, uh, um, it uh, has been an easy one to do. I, I love the movie and I love the kids and, you know, the actors uh, all became very close in, in doing uh, the movie. What was it like to meet the actual, the actual Well, guys? I don't think you want to do a movie like this and not meet those guys, yeah. you know. And those guys are uh, very unique in their individuality. You know, if anybody gets a chance to ever see these kids. they, they And I asked them in Phoenix, are you guys close? And they're not particularly the best of friends, but as a team, they were incredibly effective. And they are close, but they rarely see each other and stuff. And they are very different people. But over the time of their victory and over the time of this movie, which I think kind of go hand in hand together, that they've learned to be honored by what they've done and to uh, uh, respect um, what has happened to them and their families as well. You know, Lorenzo's father came to the premiere in Arizona when in the morning I wasn't sure that he was going to go. And, and he teared up and when I asked him. And uh, he was there with, uh, his grandfather was there and his mom was there. And that's powerful too. And that's because of the movie. So... Um, this movie isn't, uh, it's about Latinos, but it's not only for Latinos. It, it's about dreamers and about people that become heroes and underdogs. Did you guys actually build this thing? We, we, <laughs> we used the original robot okay. and, and put the pieces on the original robot, but that school was so poor that when Stinky won the competition and then they went to build <laughs> another robot, they took parts from Stinky and put it on the new robot. So they cannibalized the <laughs> winning trophy, the winning robot, and then made another one out of it. And they said when I went there on the other day that every robot, except the new one, has been a uh, pick apart from one to the other to the other because they don't have, they don't have so much money and the wow. resources. But to use pool noodles on an underwater robot and to use a, a briefcase and what they what they did was, and I think what people with a lot of imagination have is to be able to think outside of, of the box and of things that you can learn in a book or you could say, let's not do it like that, let's do this. They use a certain product that females use when they had a little <laughs> bit of an issue with it. First they use a sock and then they, they just use something else, all true and all real. And the, and the weight that the story has through immigration and through soldiers, military as well, yeah. he, you know, he served in the military. It wasn't an easy road for Oscar, but there's a little bit of everything in this movie, and I, and, and I think that young people, especially now, there's a little bit of a divide between authority and people around the, around the world. Some very tragic things have happened, but I think it's a good, it's a good time to start a new year and, and to do uh, a movie like this. Now, did you speak to the coaches because you are playing like a hybrid? I'm a, I'm a hybrid, yes. <laughs> I'm a hybrid of a, uh, I believe he's Iranian, and of a, uh, an American, uh, a white American, and then you put those two together and you get a Chicano. So I, I'm, I'm happy that, uh, you know, so many times actors play Latino, now you get a Latino playing uh, a teacher. And I, and I don't think anybody, it doesn't look unusual to anybody. It's, it's a question yeah. for anything. And then to be as dramatic as I decided to be in the movie, and the fact that when Marissa Tomei came on and Jamie too, that it really gave us a boost that uh, the movie was going to happen and going to get done right. And, and uh you know, sometimes when you read a script, um, it reads better than it actually comes out. I think this is a, a thing that the script was good, and the movie is, is a, a lot better than, than I uh, expected it to be. And Sean McNamara, who directed it, and had worked with water and things underwater, um, everybody's there for a purpose. Everybody has a reason. Now, was that slap real? No. <laughs> and they told me not to get slapped for real because uh, we were going to do it so much, but it does it does look yeah. real. I actually wanted her to hit me for real, Marissa, but she said, I don't think I should hit you because I'll hit you really hard. And then I thought, you know, if she's warning me before she hits me, I, 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 I better not get hit. But we did make it look, we did yeah. make it look good. 